Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about the importance of color and lighting in games. The idea for this video came to mind after I viewed the Battle for Bikini Bottom pre-alpha, and yes I grew up with the original so I'm excited for this game. But some things threw me off and the main things that caught my attention were the colors and lighting. So let's get into why this topic has importance. Now color and lighting can set or enhance the mood or atmosphere of a game's location or entire world. Bright skies and standout colors can create a sense of vibrancy and adventure. You can make locations moody and warm with fiery colors and subtle lighting. Or you can make a place feel ominous with muted colors and faint light sources. These two things can do a lot for a game's mood, but with that being said, I feel there's a certain balance that needs to be met for it to look good. You don't want to go overboard in any regard. In terms of color, it's dependent on the type of game, but you don't want to oversaturate your image because it'll feel like you're going through a fever dream more than playing a game. And you don't want to mute your colors too much in let's say a fantasy game because it may seem a bit bland and dull to look at if it doesn't have a very stylistic approach. To this day, I still see people modding Skyrim with all sorts of e and B and lighting mods because let's be honest, the game doesn't stand so well on its own visually. Although to be fair, some of these mods can go over the edge at times. To conclude, the colors and lighting need to feel stable and easy on the eyes. A game that does a good job in my opinion is Wind Waker. It's vibrant, but not oversaturated whatsoever, and it's not overly bright, it's really easy to look at. Now I don't dislike the HD remaster, it looks really nice in some regards, although the lighting can go really overboard sometimes where it just bleeds into the image so profoundly that it'll burn your retinas, although there are times where the environmental details still look distinguishable, and it's nice to look at. But personally, I find the original a lot more painless to view. Now the thing is, these are very tunish games. What about games with a more realistic to semi-realistic approach? Well, the Uncharted series does a really good job in terms of lighting and color in my opinion. It can set up very moody, cinematic, vibrant, and all sorts of different settings really well, and it's very pleasurable to view whether it's cutscenes or gameplay. Even other games like God of War are well done too. I can't think of many moments where the colors or lighting are over the top. They strike the right balance for me. Then there are some games that just go crazy with their lighting where it just washes out a good chunk of the environmental details. Like Monster Hunter World looks good at times, but then there are moments where it just goes mad with bright lighting and you can't appreciate the detail put into other aspects like colors, textures, models, and so on. Plus, it's so bright that it lacks a sense of contrast in some areas. Although there are some games with a specific problem where there's a lot of contrast but random objects begin to shine brightly, like damn that's insane. Geralt's hair looks like a light source over here. See, it's moments like these where having a balance is important. Then there's some games where there isn't enough light. Now having darkness in let's say a survival horror game is fine. The darkness can add a sense of helplessness and tension to the experience. But if I'm playing an action title, the last thing I want to deal with is pitch blackness. It creates less tension and more irritation if anything. So yeah, it may be subject to personal preference, but I think anyone can agree that having a balance is beneficial in terms of color and lighting. These two things are pretty vital because they can set the mood or atmosphere of not only specific moments, but an entire experience. But going to extremes in either regard can be too much to take in depending on the type of game you're playing. Keep it balanced. Anyhow, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.